Welcome to Johnny's World. Hi, welcome back to Johnny's World. Today I wanted to give a 2021 garden tour of my other fruit trees. Stick around to the very end. I give a private tour of my backyard where I go down the hill. Hi, welcome back to Johnny's World. Today I wanted to give the first garden tour of 2021 of my fruit trees at my house. This is a peach tree in front of my home. And this is flowering as you can see. The flower buds are, and this tree, hopefully this year is gonna produce a lot of great peaches. Last year it produced a lot of great peaches. And I just planted this in the ground last year and it grew a lot. This is a beautiful tree and the peaches that grow on this tree are just very tasty. This is the peach tree in front of my house. And here's the Fuyu persimmon tree that produced a ton of persimmons two years ago. It didn't produce, it only produced one persimmon last year. So uh, Fuyu persimmon trees, they tend to be alternate bearing if you don't uh, pick off the flowers on a heavy year. So if you just let it uh, fruit out, then it, one year will bear heavy fruit and the next year will go very light. It tends to be alternate bearing. Now there's tricks around that. I'm not a persimmon expert, but uh, I did see some videos where if you pick off some of the flowers or the fruit in a heavy bearing year, it should produce fruit the following year. And here's my orange tree. And the, this orange tree has produced a ton of oranges this year and last year. And uh, you know, it's the, these fruits are ready and we just pick them off the tree when we want some oranges, but these oranges are delicious. And now if you watch my prior video, I showed everyone when I planted this pomegranate tree to the ground. I'll put that link to on the, the description section below on how to plant a pomegranate tree. So I'm hoping this year this pomegranate will produce a lot of great fruits. Here's my lemon tree and these lemons are wonderful tasting. I believe these are Eureka lemons and we just pick these lemons when we need to we, we, we need them so they hang on the tree pretty well and they are wonderful tasting lemons. Here is a Myers lemon tree and this is a, a dwarf variety of the Myers and as you can see they are fruiting soon. And there are, there's a fruit there. I did pick another fruit, another, another Myers lemon like a week ago and we ate that and it was really nice, very sour but sweet at the same time. So Myers lemon tends to be on the sweeter side of lemons. Then there's my goji berry, which I haven't planted yet, but I plan to plant soon. the trees in my front yard. Now I'm going to show you some of the fruit trees in my courtyard. This is the loquat tree I planted a couple years ago and it is growing really tall but it's, it hasn't fruited any, any loquat in the past two years. I'm hoping this year is the year. It uh, has a tendency to grow but um, I really wish it'd be it, it flower and fruit soon because I'd love to taste um, some loquat in the near future but we'll see hopefully 2021 is the year if you watched my prior video you know that I bought this jambu uh, tree aka the wax apple tree 
and I planted it in this ground. And I bought this last year and it's growing really well. So hopefully this will fruit this year as well. This is the Jambu, aka the wax apple tree. Now here's another Fuyu persimmon tree I have. And this one fruited about three persimmons last year. Um, like I said before, another Fuyu uh, persimmon. These are tend to be alternate bearing if you don't uh, uh, pick off some of the fruit during a heavy year. So, but hopefully this tree went very light last year. So hopefully this year it'll bear some good quantity persimmons. So here is a Black Mission fig tree I, I uh, transplanted this 15 gallon not too long ago and as you can see it's coming up with a fig right there. Right behind that is another peach tree which this was actually planted in my avocado grove and I took this out of the ground and I put in this container um, and I planted a pass avocado tree in its place in the avocado grove. Now here I believe is a mango tree and uh, I bought it in a three gallon sleeve and it's growing slowly but it is growing it and it's looking nice. Here's a Kadoda fig I bought in a three gallon and I planted it in this 15 gallon and this is starting to look pretty nice as you can see there's some growth on top. Right behind that is the dragon fruit. Now I am really not very great at growing dragon fruits um, so I, um, I think I'm just gonna have to reboot but this dragon fruit is still alive and, and it's growing down. I think I need to kind of Put some pillars to support the dragon fruits. Now here's a Frederick passion fruit I have that I have in this 15 gallon. Now this passion fruit for the past few months have flowered and every time it flowers and it opens up then it just dies so uh, I don't know if this passion fruit's a dud or not but hopefully it'll start producing some fruit but it has flowered quite a bit in 2020 just never uh, turned into a fruit. Now here's some of my other citrus trees. That's my lime. Here's my orange tree. Here's my ice cream bean tree. And here's my tangerine tree. Have it's producing some really nice tangerines right now. So we just pick these when we want to eat them. There's an apple tree right there. It's going to produce some good fruit this year. I have a, a good feeling about that. So here's my brown turkey fig tree that I bought not too long ago in this 24 inch box. All the leaves fell down, but I still have some nice looking fruits growing on them. Here is the black mission fig tree. I bought not too long ago and these fruits have been shriveling up I've been a little bit disappointed it had a lot of fruit on them but uh, I don't know why but it's been shriveling up and I've just been having to put them on the just picking them off and putting them on the ground like that but hopefully they'll do better now here's a guava tree I have and this was pretty much dead. I just put the branch in the dirt and it sprung up to life again. Now here are more strawberry 
these are strawberry guava. I have three of them. And I bought this strawberry guava in a three gallon sleep first. Then I saw another one at Home Depot, this bigger one. And then at a nursery, I saw them with a bunch of fruit on them. So I bought this and I actually tasted the fruit after I bought this and I just realized I don't really like the taste of strawberry guava but I don't know maybe this year will taste better but I have three of these so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them but I have three three strawberry guava maybe maybe last year was a off year maybe I'll taste better but what I tasted of this tree right here I, I wasn't that into the strawberry guava taste now here are my uh, pomegranate trees that I grew from cuttings and all the leaves fell down but they're still doing good um, they're gonna be leafing out this year so hopefully they'll produce some pomegranate this year they they haven't produced anything as of yet hopefully this year they'll flower and produce some nice pomegranates now here is a blueberry bush that this was half dead as well I actually had this blueberry in a very shady place where it wasn't getting sun it kind of died off now it's doing much better it produced a, uh, a small amount of small blueberries this year which we didn't need but hopefully uh, that was last year I'm sorry and hopefully this year will produce some nice blueberries here's a white sapote I bought in a three gallon now here's a Fuyu persimmon tree that I killed in my backyard and I just planted it in this container. Now I, I think it's still alive, portions of it, so um, I think this is gonna um, leaf out and do well. I may just have to cut the, the main branch, but um, we'll see on this one. Now here's a fig tree that was originally planted in my house before I bought it and this died too because when we first bought this house um, the sprinklers were off for a month and it's doing well it produced some great figs last year and hopefully it'll produce some great figs this year now here's my it says it's a pear 20th century, which I believe it's an Asian pear tree. Now it didn't produce any fruit last year. I bought it last year, so hopefully it'll fruit this year. As you can see, it looks like it'll be flowering out soon. Now here's more dragon fruits that I have. Uh, oops, I just <laughs> clipped one off. Oh boy. Anyways, here's a couple more dragon fruits. There's a pomegranate tree that I did the we did the pomegranate harvesting on Christmas Day. Produced uh, a few good pomegranates this year. And here's a pomegranate cutting I did. No, I'm sorry, this is a persimmon tree cutting I did. And here are all my avocado seedlings. Here's a, a graft I did that, that took. And, uh, but I'm not really gonna be talking about av my avocado trees uh, on this video. I'm just gonna just focus on my non-avocado trees. Here are some pineapples I'm growing. And they're flushing out new growth. As you can see, it's flushing out new growth right there. Looking beautiful. And here is my Santa Rosa plum, which produced some really great fruit last year. Here's my apricot tree. That didn't produce any fruit last year, but the year before it produced some pretty nice fruit. And here's my aprium, which is a cross between a plum 
and a and an apricot. And that this has not produced fruit at all. And as you can see, there's a lot of these dying leaves that falls from this tree right here. I'm actually going to probably transplant this to another area. I don't think it gets enough sun. Now here's my nectarine tree. This produced some really great fruit. Um, very tasty two years ago. I think it produced a few tree fruit, fruit, fruit last year, but um, I think we had a chance to sample a couple of them and they were they were really good tasty. Now here's a brown turkey fig that I planted in the ground. It lost all its leaves. It did produce a few great figs last year. I have a feeling it's going to keep growing and produce some really wonderful figs this year. Now here's a peach tree that I did try to do an air graft. Um, and I'm not really sure if this is going to survive or not. I'm not sure if my air grafting that I did was a success, but I don't think it's fully dead yet. So I'm just put planting in this container here and just hoping it will grow. We'll see. Now here's my amazing kumquat tree. If you saw my one of my first videos, uh, I, I did make a quick video on this kumquat tree. Now this, this tree is a tree that keeps giving. Um, these taste so wonderful and I have we have family friends that come by and just pick off this tree this is a never-ending fruit production tree and they make jam and other great things of it it's so sweet now it's not quite quite ripe yet but uh, this kumquat tree produces a ton of fruit and we always enjoy it every single year now here's another pomegranate tree that I used to have in the ground, but I just took it out. It wasn't doing very, very well in the ground, so I just planted, uh, transplanted to this big container right there, and it's doing much better. It's uh, it's thriving. It's lost all its leaves, but I feel like it's gonna do very well this year. This is the pomegranate tree. Now we're in my backyard, and this is my other pomegranate tree which was here when I purchased this house. So this was already here. This does flower quite a bit, but, um, and it did fruit. However, I don't think I watered this area very well. Now that I have my avocado trees here, I will be watering it more this year. But hopefully next year, I'll, I mean, hopefully this year will produce some wonderful pomegranate we've had some they're okay um but they're the fruit size is kind of small just because i don't think it gets watered very well now this here is a guava tree and we just realized this was a guava tree this year it started fruiting this year so we had a chance to sample some of the guava on this tree and they were delicious so not sure what variety guava tree this is but the fruit was delicious. Maybe later this year when it fruits again, I'll do a separate video on the fruit and maybe do a taste test. Now here's a peach tree that I did a air layering graft on. The one I showed you before this video. I'm not sure if it's going to survive, but just because this is in a hillside, it's very hard to pick these fruits, so that's why I try to air layer it. Um, and we'll see if the, the graft does lives or not, but this is a peach tree that produces really delicious peach trees every year. Now I'm going to go down in my backyard here, and I, I don't think I've shown everyone. I know I've shown everybody my avocado grove but I don't think I've ever gone down there. So I wanna show everyone today because there is a fruit tree down there. And this is in the mountains. So we do have wild animals. As you can see, there's a, a squirrel right there. And uh, 
I do see mountain <laughs> lions from time to time. I, I did spot a mountain lion um, when I was planting one of my avocado trees. We get bobcats here um, and we also get coyotes. But, uh, but I do my archery down there too. Oops, look at that squirrel. He's getting a little bit nervous, I think. Now there's a fig tree right there. That that fig tree doesn't really produce fruit. And this is a nice area during the summer months or I put some archery targets down there and I'll shoot my arrow. And I had a haystack over there with my archery targets. They all melted with the the rain. It just disintegrated. But but this is a really private area where sometimes I will do my archery for hours down here. But the reason why I'm coming down here is I wanted to show you. So I'll do some of my archers down here, put some targets up. Uh, I, I did have like five stacks of haystacks right here and just had my targets on there. It just all kind of melted away. But um, this is a really neat area where I get a lot of privacy. But that over there is also a peach tree and that produces a lot of great peaches every year down here but anyways thank you very much for joining us today if you like this video if you like this channel please press the like and subscribe thanks everyone